but a child, a nine-year-old child. It's just, it's beyond inexcusable. A little girl's bravery, help from the public, and strong collaboration between the Farmington Hills and Detroit Police Departments led to the arrest and jailing of an accused rapist. 40-year-old Aaron McDonald faced a judge Friday, the ex-con charged with kidnapping and raping a nine-year-old girl. One of his neighbors jarred upon learning of the allegations. I'm so shook. I'm so scared. I have kids here. That's why I'm so scared. Police say McDonald lured the girl into his Jeep as she walked near 8 Mile and Grand River in Farmington Hills Sunday afternoon. He ultimately drove her to this home near 8 Mile in Berg in Detroit, where police say he strangled and raped her. At some point, the girl was able to get away, running from the home clad with only a blanket, a neighbor coming to her rescue and calling 911. Despite what she endured, she stayed calm. She escaped and she saved her own life and she probably saved the lives of other children. Neighbors say the house where the assault allegedly occurred belongs to McDonald's mother, who was out of town but left her son with access to it. My worry, and I don't like casting this person, but my God, if you know this particular individual had that type of propensity, had to just being released from this type of thing, why would you give him the opportunity? McDonald was released from prison in May after serving 16 years of a max 30-year sentence for two counts of first-degree criminal sexual conduct. We reached out to McDonald's mother, who declined to comment. Farmington Hills and Detroit police worked together to crack the case, along with help from other departments and the FBI. Investigators executed 20 search warrants at a number of locations, including McDonald's home in Oak Park, his Jeep, and the home where the alleged assault took place. DPD provided around-the-clock surveillance of McDonald after investigators identified him. It was important for us to keep eyes on him 24-7 so that he would not re-victimize. Police arrested McDonald Thursday. I cannot say um, with enough emphasis that it would not have happened but for these police agencies working together around the clock. All we wanted to do was do it right and find justice for this little girl. Farmington Hills Police Chief Jeff King says the jarring nature of these allegations should give the public pause and another reason and opportunity to warn kids about those who would prey on them. Now, Aaron McDonald remains locked up in the Oakland County Jail. He's being held without bond. I'm Randy Wembley, and this is The Edge.